The following presentation will be on polygons. We'll be working on classifying, drawing, and identifying the various types of polygons. From the Greek language, polygon literally translates to many angles. By definition, a polygon is a closed figure made by joining line segments where each line segment intersects exactly two others. Now remember, it's closed. They're joined lines that intersect exactly two others. So keep that in mind as we are sorting several examples and non-examples. Starting with the white cross, that would be an example. The pink heart would be a non-example. The curved lines don't match the definition and the fact that one line is not meeting two others, intersecting two others, means that doesn't meet that part of the definition as well. The white zigzaggy line is a non-example because it is not closed since that opening there um, makes sure it does not match that polygon definition. The first golden shape, which we'll talk about the name of later on in this presentation, would be an example. The arrow would be a non-example, again, because of those curved lines. The green shape would be a non-example, because you have those two crossing lines there. That means they're intersecting more than two other lines at that point. The four-sided diamond, which we've talked about in pre previous lessons and presentations, is also called a quadrilateral, is an example. And the pink starburst shape is another example. Now, in addition to that, we have what we call regular polygons. They're special polygons. And a, it's a polygon whose sides are all the same length and whose angles are all the same measure. So again, we'll go over several examples and non-examples. The square and triangle are two shapes you should be very familiar with. Now, by definition, they have to have all sides equal and all angles equal. So that means that all sides, all angles equal means they fit into that regular polygon category. Now we have two more examples and then several non-examples. Now note that each of those non-examples are types of polygons, but since all the sides and all the angles aren't the same, that means they're not the special regular polygons. Now for SOL purposes we have to review and go over the three-sided shapes all the way through the ten-sided shapes. You should be familiar with their names from previous lessons in school years. Here's a review. We have the three-sided triangle, four-sided quadrilateral, five-sided pentagon, six-sided hexagon, seven-sided heptagon, eight-sided octagon, nine-sided nonagon, and ten-sided decagon. Note that you can name any shape by giving it the number of sides, dash, gon, g-o-n, would be an acceptable name for it. So three dash gon could work for a triangle and any other polygon can be named in that same method. Triangle by the Greek naming system could also be called a trigon, meaning triangle, three angles, and several real world example pictures. Quadrilateral, which by the Greek naming system could also be called a tetragon, Tetra meaning for T-E-T-R-A, gone. And several examples. Pentagon, the five-sided shape. Hexagon, six sides. Heptagon, seven sides. Octagon, 
octagon, eight sides. Nonagon, which by the Greek naming system can also be called an Enneagon, E-N-N-E-A-G-O-N. -N -E the Nonagon name comes from a Latin form of nine. And then Decagon, the ten sides. <laughs> 